the word of God is so powerful, real, and alive to the point where even the witches know it. And in today's video, you're going to see how powerful it is when Christians unite together and pray. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Guys, I have a huge announcement before we get into the video today, and the announcement is I have officially dropped new Christian merch. And I'll put a lot of effort into this so you guys can be dripped out to the max, as well as representing the King, Yeshua. All these designs I'm going to show you are available in t-shirts, hoodies, and crewneck sweaters. The first design is a picture of a biblically accurate cherubim with their famous saying, fear not. The second design are the Greek words Alpha and Omega combined together, which is what Jesus refers to himself in Revelation 22:13. The third design is a combination of Jesus's and a lion's face to represent his famous title as the Lion of Judah. The last design, which is my favorite, is a cartoon girl with hard eyes with a cross in the eyes. I call this design true love because true love is found in the sacrifice of Jesus. My ministry is 100% self-funded, so if you guys support what I'm doing for the kingdom, please go to the merch website, shopbignick.com, or you can check the link in the description. Not only are you investing in good soil for the kingdom by buying this merch, but you also get some of the hardest clothes out there to date, and I think that's a pretty good trade-off. When you make a purchase of the merch, please screenshot that purchase and tag me on Instagram. My IG is RealBigNick. And if you tag me on your Instagram story with my handle, I will repost it on my story and I will send you a message thanking you. Thank you guys for the support. Go get yourself some merch right now. Link in description. And with that being said, let's get into the video. What this ex-witch revealed about what happens in the spiritual realm when Christians pray together is shocking. At the age of eight, Renee Schaefer was initiated into a satanic cult. By the time she was 13, she was even doing blood rituals. She has an amazing testimony in how she gave her life to Jesus Christ, and this just goes to show you the saving grace of our Lord and Savior, how he'll really leave the 99 sheep to go find that one lost sheep and bring them back. However, in this testimony, there was something very interesting to me that she shared. She was part of a coven that had a specific assignment to attack Christians, and when she was trying to fulfill her mission, she was pushed back by the power of God when Christians came together in unity. What she witnessed in the spirit was absolutely shocking, but this just goes to show you the power of unity when Christians come together and pray. The devil likes to create division in the church because because when we are united in Christ, we can truly take territory through the power of the Holy Spirit that resides in us. Let's take a look at this video and we can see what happens to the kingdom of darkness when us Christians pray together. You were actually involved in this in this cult mm -hmm. in attacking Christians, weren't you? Yes. We so I was a channeler. Um I talked to the demons and we re they relayed messages to the rest of the cult through me. And their goal was really just to cause chaos. Um, but later on, um, I was 16 when, uh, I'm just going to say it, uh, I met Satan himself, mm -hmm. uh, which really obviously is shocking. Um, <laughs> and his priority for us, it changed the trajectory of the cult and we started attacking just Christians going after clergy specifically. Um, we had names, addresses, workplaces, um, and that's what we did. We just harassed Christians. Mm. So and that's <laughs> going on now, isn't it? I mean, that's oh yeah, yeah. There are assignments on uh, people yes. who are actively engaged in uh, in worshiping and ministering. You realized uh, as this was going on that there were certain Christians or certain people. Mm -hmm that would not be at the effect of of these um uh, these prayer or these chants or these uh right. you know, these practices yep. so uh i would actually travel in the spirit astral projection to um influence i don't know lust or something on a christian and uh in the spirit I would see like a dome, like a blue dome over uh, groups of Christians that were praying or just through the, all those experiences, I connected that we could not attack Christians as they were actively praying protection from God. Like there was a no-go zone, just no, absolutely no power. So <laughs> that's I love it now. Like, like, yes, <laughs> thank you, God. Um, 
But back then, it, it made me very angry. It made the demons very angry. At that point, that made me curious. How is this possible? How can Christians have this power to just nullify the demonics completely? I'll tell you how it's possible. Jesus Christ, baby. <laughs> Come on, hallelujah. Can I get some praise, somebody? Ah, 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 ah. All right. Let me, let me chill real quick. God's word continues to prove itself true even to the non-believers. Jesus actually talks about the power of unity in the scriptures and how our heavenly father will always back us up when we come into an agreement with one another. Jesus says in Matthew 18, 19 through 20, again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Godly unity is extremely powerful in order to dismantle the kingdom of darkness. And I believe we're seeing a demonic end times agenda to destroy unity in the church. Many believers have not caught the revelation of keeping the peace with one another, and now there's all these different denominations to divide us from coming together. This is all orchestrated by the devil to put us in different factions so he can isolate us and attack us. We need to come together united as the body of Christ, just like the word of God tells us to. If you have an issue with a brother or sister in Christ, just forgive them. We wrestle against these demonic principalities, not people. We're in a spiritual war and we don't have time for pettiness. We don't have time for envy, jealousy, strife, whatever it may be. Just get rid of all of that. It's not worth it, and it's not going to equip you for battle. Let's unite together and accomplish the Father's will here on earth. Because when we come together, God really moves in such a powerful way. Get linked up with some warriors for Jesus Christ, because it's time, man. We got to go to war. We got to go to battle. I really hope this testimony gave you guys new revelation and new insight. It definitely did for me, and even though I knew the Word of God emphasized unity so much, it really helps to see a visual perspective of what it does to the kingdom of darkness. Darkness. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. Don't forget to go get the merch shopbignick.com or link in description. I will see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns. Cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim